how to predilate uh, a subclavian obstruction uh, when that obstruction um, is quite tight. And in this case, uh, what we have done is we've gotten two, two V18 control wires down uh, through a Ka2 catheter. Um, and so this was a very tight obstruction and the wire alone wouldn't go. And so we effectively pushed the Ka2 down. And once we got the Ka2 down, um, we had the option of either putting in an 035 uh, Amplatz wire uh, and then going to the nine millimeter high pressure balloon or pre-dilating. And because you can't be assured that you're gonna be able to get uh, the big nine millimeter high pressure balloon over the Amplatz wire, uh, we start with a balloon that has a lower profile um, it, and it doesn't go up as high, it's not as high a pressure balloon, but it's much more likely to go through a very tight stenosis. So we pre-dilate here with this six millimeter by 40 millimeter balloon, which, desi which is designed to go over an 018 wire and we're going to inflate that to 14 atmospheres and to enhance uh, the effectiveness of this less robust balloon, we're, we're keeping, we're putting a second wire beside it. So the, v, the Ka2 has enough room for, as an 038 lumen, so plenty of room for two 018 wires. And these balloons are made by a variety of companies. Abbott makes one this Sterling makes, or Boston makes one called the Sterling. Medtronic makes one called the Pacific Plus. So it's a fairly common balloon. Um, and we've now positioned that balloon um, at the innominate SVC junction. We always start there. And then we do a head to tail overlap uh, all the way back uh, until you see the tail of the balloon in the pocket. Um, and then once we have achieved our pre dilatation, with the lower profile, lower pressure balloon, we advance the Ka2 back over one of the two V18 control wires, and then take the one, one of the V18 control wires, we withdraw that, um, and we uh, place an 035 J-tip Amplatz wire, and then over the Amplatz wire, we go to our high pressure balloon. This is a Conquest balloon and it goes up to 26 atmospheres. Um, and uh, so that's what we like to use because you never know how much pressure is going to be required uh, to, to dilate this fibrous tissue. And again, it's important to understand that the fibrous tissue that we're dealing with here uh, is unique to the chronic lead situation. There's nothing like it uh, in any other areas of vascular intervention, uh, except maybe a fistula, um, which requires very high pressures. Uh, and it's very, uh, it also has a lot of elastic recoil. So you really need a large balloon and high pressures to get an adequate lumen. And you can see how tight uh, that obstruction is even after being pre-dilated uh, with our other balloon. And so here we are inflating. Uh, and again, the last thing you want to see uh, is the tail of the balloon in the pocket because you're going to end up with this. Now, occasionally you do need to use um, a hemostasis uh, stitch using a vein occluder. We can talk about that separately. But this is an example of pre-dilating uh, a subclavian obstruction using a balloon that, that uh, is designed for an 018 wire it has a lower profile and is more likely to fit through the obstruction when it's very tight.